Alrighty, well, if you're watching this, you're here to see your brachioplasty pre-op, and I'm with Stacy Lasseter, our physician's assistant. She's usually the person who sees you for these pre-op visits, and she's gonna do several things with you when you come in for your, pre for your blah, 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 blah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> if you're watching this, you're here to see us for your brachioplasty pre-op, and I'm here with Stacy Lasseter. She's our physician's assistant and we're here to help you answer your questions and get you through this pre-op process. When you come in to see us for a pre-op visit, there's gonna be several things that we're gonna do for you and have you do. First of all, Stacy, our, our physician's assistant, is gonna take photos of your arms. Our photos of your arms are to help us in surgery be able to identify exactly what the problems are and the differences from side to side in the areas we need to liposuction or take out more skin so we can get the optimal outcome for you. Additionally, she's going to give you prescriptions, a narcotic medication, an antibiotic, and an anti-nausea medication. The narcotic medication and the anti-nausea medication are to be taken on an as-needed basis. That means you don't need to take them on a scheduled time. You don't need to take them every four or five hours, just as you need them. The antibiotic is different. You take that scheduled four times a day for three days. Most people with the brachioplasty procedure only take pain medicine for a couple of days and then they're usually able to be back to work right away. So it's just a short period of time you'll be on those. Additionally, you're gonna be going over consent forms and she's gonna be talking to you about the risks and complications of the surgery and answering any questions you have. So you're gonna receive a packet in the mail from our patient coordinator, Samantha. Stacey's gonna tell you a little bit about that. So you will be receiving a, uh, an email from one of our patient coordinators once you schedule your surgery, which will um, have everything in it as far as the consents go. And you're gonna read through that before you come into your pre-op visit. Make sure you read through it thoroughly because you will be signing those consents that day of surgery. We also request if we've asked you to get any pre-operative labs, any medical clearances, EKGs or anything of that sort to have those done or completed before you come in for your pre-op visit super imperative that you have those completed so that way we don't have to, there's no delay in your surgery. I'm also gonna go over with you as far as talking about your compression and getting some arm sleeves, compression, whatever it is that you decide you wanna get. We wanna make sure you have those after surgery. You will be leaving surgery with some ACE wraps on both arms and we tell you to keep those in place for a couple of days, but after a couple of days then you can uh, you can apply the compression sleeves and we just talk about what those are and how you can order those But we do definitely want you to have those before surgery One other thing to mention is make sure that you get your medications right away I'll prescribe them send them electronically after your pre-op appointment But just make sure you pick them up within the first couple of days after I've prescribed them So we want to make sure you have them you have them in place before you come in to have surgery I think that covers it. That's your brachioplasty pre-op.